Welcome back to Prince of Persia, the warrior within. We're just kind of getting used to this uh, edgy, blood-soaked adventure. Uh, I feel like there'd be a trap there. Whoa! They really got a problem with the music looping, don't they? This has this more proof that this was a rush job of a port. The enemy looks cool, though. All right. So he blocks and he has a nice attack combo. Why does he jump away like that every time? Even if I just mash the analog stick as far as I can. You are worth my time. This really got how I got to do it. Kind of ridiculous. At least it interrupts an attack, though. It really bothers me that he does that. I'm not sure how I get behind him. Oh, I gotta not press the analog stick at all. Alright, that makes a little bit more sense. What the? The jump cutting does not. Alright. So he's gonna dash around like a jackass. Got it. I expect it to follow after him, or. Unless I can figure out how. I need to. Probably need to run up one of these. Nope. Okay. Let's try something else. Not that. This music is ridiculous, by the way. What do you want me to do here? Hmm. Peter Laurie? Like, what's the plan here, guys? What? I, 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 I don't get it. Oh, that's kind of weird, but all right. I want to win with honor. That didn't work. So if I'm not close enough to the enemy, I just jump awkwardly. Move him to I move toward him to jump. And as long as I let go of the analog stick before I make the actual jump, which I didn't do there, I can do that move, which seems to be the best way to damage him. Whoa, whoa! I have no control over uh, whether I can sheet my sword or not. Yeah! Yeah! Alright! My other weapon's about to break, though. I don't like that. I'd very much like to find a way to get a new one as soon as possible. Did I just run across like that? I mean... 
All right. Uh, do they want me to run all the way up there? Oh, that was a ledge. All right. Okay. Like the acrobatics somewhat. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I have more important matters to attend to. Stop. Let me do the thing. All right. Jump. All right. Jump. Do the thing. Do the thing. I know. I'm good there. Alright. Now it's just trivial. Oh, he's dead. Hell yeah. Alright. Not bad, not bad. Alright, so I want me to run up a wall, I see. That one right there, because there's a switch on it! The switches do stand out a lot more, though. Slide along? Like, slide down it? Whoa! Alright, new move, cool! Gotta face all these guys by myself, though. I got very little health left. Ah, so when I kill an enemy, I can take his weapon. My blade calls for you. All right, starting to get the hang of combat a little bit now that I know how the jumping works. All right, starting to click a little bit. I don't think I'm being as uh, as graceful as the game wants me to be, but that's okay. Head down there. Or... So I just came from up. I assume the game wants me to go down, judging by the big hole here with a thing at the bottom. And I just threw my sword. That was not good. Oh dear me. Hmm. Alright. Maybe it did come from this way. Yeah, so where do I go now? Well, the camera zooms out when I go there, so... Is this just a different section you want me to go to? Oh, hi! I think I'll enjoy taking your weapon. Can I take your weapon? Yeah, alright. There's nothing that really indicates that I can grab them, though. Prince still with his hatred of doors, I see. I guess this is a run across one. Brilliantly done there, Prince. Um, drop down and go around? Nope. Can't really go back over there. But I can do this. So maybe something like that. Yeah. Alright. Drop down here. Right here, and I made it across. Good! Alright. Um. More running, I guess. Now the traps are starting to show up. Oh, like now! 
A uh, fountain. Two fountains, I think. Hmm. We're gonna drink from all the fountains. You know, le left or right, which fountain would I want to save at? These are important questions. Oh no, she's got the sense of time! No! Madness. What magic is this? You've seen it before, Prince. Oh, oh no. Does that mean I'm getting the sands back? What did happen? Ow! Oh! Did she just kick me in the face? The little harlot just kicked me in the face! I gain recall. Okay. That's basically rewind time. Can I do that right now? No. Well, hey, get back here! Where'd she go, anyway? Oh, I got a long way to go, then. Alright. As I've discovered one of the time-traveling portals the old man spoke of. Uh, so I've gone back in time, have I? Back to when these traps were operational? Whoa! Shit, I didn't... Uh, I didn't see him. Yeah, nothing to it. I think I can get behind this combat. It's a little mindless, but I'll take mindless over non-functioning. Not having to suck up the enemies with my dagger every single stupid fucking time is certainly a plus. So that switches the goal. And these guys are the immediate threat. Let's finish him! Well, they really didn't get the tone right in this game. It's like they sound like... They sound like Halo grunts. This is working alright. I don't know. I don't know! This is working pretty okay. Ridiculous music notwithstanding. I'm reminded of, uh... When, uh, David Jaffe was developing God of War, the first one. Which was also around this time, if you want to talk about edgy, violent, mature games. I think God of War was the one that basically shut the deal on that and said, Oh, well, let's go home. There's no, there's no beat in that. But I remember he was talking about the music of God of War, trying to set the specific tone. And I think one of the genres he got to was, like, this kind of rock music. And he's like, what the fuck is this? Get that the fuck out of here. I mean, it should be pretty wild if the Twisted Metal guy doesn't like rock music in his game. That means that even he has an idea of what tone is. Better idea than what these guys had. Did I do it? Oh, man. Oh, it's timed. So now I gotta go all the way back up. Fuck, shit, crap. Fuck, wrong place, I think. Fuck. Uh. In any other game, or any other medium, this music would have been alright. But it, it's it's really distractingly not fitting of the tone, though. Like in the first game, the prince was retelling this story to Farah before they actually happened. And I'm like, what's this one? Is he smoking pot with us in his basement? It's like, so, there I was. Sliding down the curtain that was glitching out a little bit, and then I ran as fast as I could into the door before it could close, and I was just in time. I was like, well, yeah, whatever. Pass the pipe, man. Uh, 
And th and another problem is that when it fades out, it just feels awkward and silent. It doesn't have this ethereal, <laughs> mystical kind of feel that the first one had. Damn it! That was Kara's fault! You can blame camera all on that one. I love how it goes just up enough, too. Go. Damn it! <sighs> My Donkey Kong Country senses won't help me now. Uh, that's cruel. Uh, ah, that's cruel. That's a cruel, sick joke. Alright. Gotta be patient. Not my strong suit. There we go. Alright. Maybe we have time for one more section here. So, I mean... I, I can see why this is infamous, but so far... On the gameplay side... So far, so good. Let's see what these guys do, though. I've, I got a feeling it's not going to be all, all uh, milk and honey the whole time here. These things just kind of like to flip. That's what I got. They're weak, though. Okay, so they just take what eight hits. It's not too bad. There's weapons everywhere, so I don't have to worry about them breaking all the time. The gray and red aesthetic is starting to... I'm starting to dig it a bit, actually. First I was kind of down on it, but, you know, with, it makes sense with, like, the palace, and, you know, the great palaces of Book of the Pass and all that. And the red's a nice splash. I'm like, like, this is a cool scene. This is, this is a nice shot. I dig it. I mean, I'm not, like, screaming my head off yet, because the, the combat's a lot easier to get into. I was worried that was not going to be the case. I mean, it's still sticky and kind of bleh, but just killing things is a great improvement. Just, just straight up killing them, not having to use my dagger, which just, just slows everything down. Alright. Well, this is just a simple jump. Alright. It's, it's just it's just an awkward fade out. <laughs> I mean it'd be service it'd be serviceable for like any Duke Nukem game or any any shitty shooter really would be alright, but Oh, I thought I could sneak up on him. Oh, and here's another improvement. It's not wave upon wave upon wave of every just, just samey enemy. There are actual encounters that are meant to last just a few seconds because combat is kind of spread evenly. They don't immediately pop up and immediately warp, warp over to me and surround me. So we're already in better territory right away. It's just that everything looks so weird. It, everything's like... Everything's like a My Chemical Romance video. I'm trying to think of 2005 band names, because, oh uh, man, that was a long time ago. Alright, bring it on, guys. I have a renewed sense of confidence! I almost went off the edge. Damage physics are nice. I mean, the game recognizes when they get split in half, that's nice. I think some people thought that was unnecessary. Which I guess so, but, you know. It was just the way games were going now. Games were, you know, not exactly M-rated all the time. So people weren't used to this darker, more mature sense of gaming yet. Alright, come on. Knock it off. Yeah, having a way better time with the combat here. So far! Anything could change, you know how it is. Oh, 
traps are active. Prince hates doors. I mean, he could probably push it open, but... No. I don't know. We gotta get through those traps. We, I mean, we have to. It's a door. It's a door. How do we get past this? I hate doors. Hmm. How do I get up there? How do I get through there? Maybe down here is the answer? 